We're going to close this 5 o'clock newscast with an inspiring story. A college athlete who managed to persevere through adversity and tragedy. Columbia women's basketball standout Abby Shu survived the mass school shooting at Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High five years ago next week. And then she lost her father early in the COVID pandemic. Now she's been named a semifinalist for a National Player of the Year Award. It is an inspiring story. Here's Iowa News sports anchor Sam Ryan. Columbia junior Abby Shue has been gaining national recognition for her play. She leads the Lions in scoring, but rather than taking credit for personal accolades, she attributes that to the team, which she says is like a family. I want to win for them. I want to win for this community because it, it feels like such a family. The bond's there every day. But the road to Columbia went through heartbreak five years ago. Abby was a junior at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. And on Valentine's Day, she was in one of the buildings when tragedy occurred. I was in the part of the school where you could hear the gunshots, but I wasn't like directly in the building, you know, because it was a big school. But, um, excuse me. I wouldn't say I don't try to think about it because, you know, that's, I feel like that's um, disrespectful to you know, the ones we lost, because like, you know, it doesn't feel real, especially, you know, when you hear about it on the news, it doesn't feel real, it feels like a movie, and even, you know, being someone who's a part of it doesn't feel real, even to this day, because um, it's something that shouldn't be real, you know what I mean? 17 lives were lost. Only two years removed from the Parkland tragedy, Abby's freshman season at Columbia was cut short due to COVID. Abby and her family were impacted personally, Abby's father, Alex Shu, an internist in Florida, died from COVID-19. I lose my father to COVID. Um, definitely a, something, another thing that just doesn't feel real. I really looked up to my father a lot, where I got like most of my humbling and hardworking attributes from. When you lose like your rock, your like our stability of our family and stuff. Abby finds support and strength from her teammates while playing with others on her mind and in her heart. This love, this um, community, this family it overpowers the sadness. I want to make my dad proud. I want to make my family proud. I want to make this team proud. I want to make everyone who lost their lives on February 14th. I want to, you know, you, you do it for everyone who, you know, who can't anymore. Sam.